Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicycle Toasting server tutorial. Minecraft has just updated to 1.19 and we at Bicycle Toasting are super excited to get everyone right into the action. 1.19 brings with it some really cool new mobs, new biomes, and new experiences for everyone to enjoy. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how you can update your vanilla Minecraft server to Minecraft 1.19 so your community can enjoy the brand new features. This tutorial will only be going over the vanilla Minecraft update, as that is the only one that is currently out. So if you're using spigot, paper, or bucket, you will have to wait until they update those into Minecraft 1.19. Before we jump in, if you aren't already a Bisect Hosting customer, we offer servers for Minecraft that are fast, easy to set up and customize, and we have 24-7 support if you have any questions. Check out bisecthosting.com or check out the link in the description. Before doing any updates on your server, we highly suggest you back up your server. Log into your Bisect Hosting panel and choose the Backup Manager on the left side. Then go down and choose a backup slot that is open and hit Backup. Here you can name your backup whatever you would like, and you can choose which files you would like to backup or backup all files, and choose the green backup button. This may take a while depending on how large your world is, but we highly suggest it as this could save any files that might get corrupted in the updating process. Once that's finished, we can go back to the home menu and stop our server. Now we can open the jar menu, and you should see vanilla Minecraft 1.19. Go ahead and select that and scroll down to save. From here, it'll ask if you would like to delete your current files, keep your current files, or create an instance. We suggest that if you're running 1.18, you can keep your current files, and your world should be just fine, but that is why you back up your server just in case there is any corruption or anything when this update does happen, because problems can happen. But of course, if you want to delete your current files and start a new world, just choose that, or you can choose create a new instance if you want to put it into a separate instance. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and choose delete current files, and we are going to say we are sure we want to delete current files. Now that you're finished, you should be able to start your server, and you are on Minecraft 1.19. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around. 